what's good josh your boy ross back at it again with another video so i had to make a separate video talking about the fantastic promo segment between matt riddle and seth rollins and yes i said matt riddle because they finally added the matt to his name if you guys didn't know they just have been calling him riddle for like the past few months but they finally was able to add the matt to his name so we got matt riddle having a very intense uh promo segment with um seth rollins and what i've been loving about this entire build-up is it feels genuine it feels intense it feels real you know they have some actual history with each other behind the scenes some actual heat they've had in the past um for those who don't know matt riddle and his ex well his previous wife at the time um they had a little issue with becky lynch well really it was matt riddle's wife said said some comments about becky lynch and obviously uh seth rollins didn't like that or whatnot or becky lynch didn't like that so they didn't even seth rollins didn't even want to work with matt riddle so there there's some actual tension there i think they've obviously maybe have amended things behind the scenes to at least work on a professional web level hence this is why we have this feud and I can appreciate the fact that Triple H postponed the feud because they were supposed to have a rat match at SummerSlam, but he postponed it to build it up more for Clash at the Castle. So they showed a clip, and it was all on Instagram and Twitter um, of Matt Riddle before they got to the arena. Matt Riddle saw Seth Rollins on the parking lot. Matt Riddle's on the phone. They, they, it, was, it was on site. Like, it, it was one of those situations where I see the ops, it's on site, Matt Riddle kicks off the flip-flops, and they going at it. I loved it. They're, they've been going at each other for weeks, and I think it's fantastic, and I've, I've been enjoying it. So, you have this little sit-down segment. Corey Graves is kind of interviewing both of them, and they're, they're having a nice back and forth. This is just, you know, what you expect them to do to build up hype for the match, you know, Matt Riddle is intense he seems serious and i appreciate that this is what i wanted to see if you're having a feud with somebody that's really trying to take you out you're gonna be serious no let's you know have fun bro like nah this, this is not time for fun and funny games it's time to be serious so they're having their little promo segment Matt Riddle is basically telling him, like, yo, bro, I'm going to beat you just like Roman did, just like Cody Rose did. And uh, Seth Rollins rebuttals, like, I'm going to put you on the shelf just like I did Cody. I like that they're talking about Cody, planting seeds for when Cody comes back, hopefully probably during the Royal Rumble and uh, Cody and Seth Rollins having some type of interaction uh, at the Royal Rumble. So I like that. They brought up Cody and... Um, Seth said, yo, you've been a thorn in my side. Once I'm put, once I'm done putting you on the shelf, I'm going to go for the Undisputed Universal Championship. So that's his ultimate goal still as well. I like the continuity on that. He hasn't forgotten. He just got to take care of Matt Riddle first. So it was a nice little segment. Um, I love what Matt Riddle did to end off the segment. He was like, you know what I'm saying? I forgot how he exactly worded it, but he was basically like, yo, you're not even the man in your own household. Becky Lynch is the man. Like, just basically alluding, like, really, Becky Lynch runs the relationship. You just there. You know what I'm saying? And I love that because when the segment ended, all you could see is Seth Rollins. He couldn't even say nothing. He was so pissed. And I love that. It's like he wanted to say something, but he couldn't. So we go to commercial break. I enjoyed that. I'm live streaming with, with you guys that was there for the live stream. Shout out to you guys. Um, we just enjoyed it. I was like, that was a nice line by Matt Riddle. Like, yo, you're not even the man in your own relationship. Cool. They come back. And then they say, this is exclusive footage from what happened after the interview. Love this. Seth Rollins is like, Matt, you still there? He's like, yeah, I'm still here, bro. You want to talk about family? And this is, I, I got to make this point. Seth wasn't doing the Joker laugh. He wasn't laughing maniacally like he was in the promo segment previous. This came off like, I, I got something for you. I'm about to be serious with you now. He's like, yo, 
Matt, you still there? And he's like, Matt's like, yeah, I'm here, bro. You want to talk about family? Let's talk about family. Oh, wait a minute. You don't have one. Your wife divorced your bitch ass, took the kids, and they don't want to be with your bitch ass anymore. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What's going on here? He's going real rogue here. Matt Riddle said, what you say? And <laughs> Seth Rollins' response was, you heard me, bitch. I'm like, okay. Okay, now we're stepping it up. Now this this is getting intense. So you can see Matt Riddle get fucking pissed. He was like, yo, yo, Seth, where you at? Where you at? Seth Rollins like, oh, you trying to know where I'm at? You, you, come find me. And he was like, Seth. Seth, I'm not going to beat you up. I'm going to fuck you up. He said it multiple, multiple times. They bleeped it out. They blurred out his mouth saying, I'm going to fuck you up. And Seth is rapping like, oh, you're going you gonna to mess me up. You're going you gonna to beat me up. And he's just, you know, unmiking about the leaves. Like, Seth, I'm going to fuck you up. Where you at? Where you at? I'm going to fuck you up. I'm like, oh, my God. And it ends with Matt Riddle getting so pissed, trying to calm down. He gets up and leaves as well. When I say that was so goddamn good, easily, without a doubt, that is the best segment of last night. Everyone was talking about it. It's all over Instagram. It's all over Twitter. People that don't even watch wrestling. I've seen someone comment. People who don't even watch wrestling. It's like, wait a minute. This happened on Monday Night Raw. They they let them do this. Oh shit! I I may need to check this out. And someone asked what match I was most anticipated for. This was right before this segment happened. Someone asked me on live stream. And at the time, I said it was going to be the Roman and Drew McIntyre match because I'm really interested what they're going to do there. I think that's going to be a fantastic match. When and then I saw the clip of them brawling. I was like, you know what? It may be. Seth versus Matt Riddle at Clash of the Castle. I'm really excited for it. After this promo, Seth, Matt Riddle, Clash at the Castle. That is the match I am more excited about than the championship match. You want to know why? Because Triple H took time to build this feud. We don't have a joking Matt Riddle. We have a Matt Riddle that legit wants to fuck him up. Wants to beat the Evan, beat the living crap out of Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is trying to end Matt Riddle. And Seth Rollins has been so good. He did the same thing. He did the exact same thing with Edge. If you guys remember, the feud they had, making it personal. He did the same thing with Cody. It got personal. He's doing the same thing with Matt Riddle. It's gotten really personal personal because there's real backstage heat i like this promo segment so well because they incorporated real things even in the original segment seth rollins said bro people don't like you here and that has some truth roman reigns has had some issues with matt riddle brock lesnar has had some issues with matt riddle and goldberg we're talking about behind the scenes multiple people have had issues with matt riddle so all these things he's saying has some truth to it the best things about wrestling sometimes is when there's truth added to it when there's continuity added to it it comes off believable some people are like yo what what is going on this this seems so unscripted and i love that oh that was fantastic triple h knocked it out apart by just waiting to build this match up if he would have had this match at SummerSlam, not to say it wouldn't have been good but it kind of would have just, you know, it was too soon. They built it up. They dragged it out. And you know what? Me personally, I hope they are able to continue the feud. I don't want this match to just be one and done. I think you need to continue the feud. I do think at some point this match, this feud will turn into not just stip just a regular match. There's going to be some stipulations added because they're going to try to kill each other. If anything, me personally, I would love to see them have this match and one or two things to happen you can have Seth Rollins cheat to win or or you can have them brawl to the point where they both get disqualified like it, it it's not a wrestling match no more now some people have been like oh that's kind of you know some people don't like the disqualification finish but if they just happen a massive brawl 
Like it's gotten to the point where the match can't even, it can't be an official match. They try to have an official match. Someone ends up getting, maybe Matt Riddle attacks him, Seth Rollins before the bell, before we even get the bell and say, say the match doesn't even happen. Say it's literally them just fighting or whatnot. They have to get security, got to get officials. They have to cancel the match because maybe somebody got busted open hard way or whatever, and they have to cancel the match. Or maybe the match does happen, and the ref can't get control. They both get disqualified. Maybe they're on the outside of the ring. They're just brawling. It's no longer about wrestling. It's about I want to beat the crap out of you. I would be okay with that ending or Seth Rollins cheating to possibly get the win. That way we can extend the feud. I don't want Seth Rollins to lose because I do think he needs to at least get start off this feud they have at least with a win. Yes, granted, he did put him on the shelf, but they actually never had a match. So I would like for Seth Rollins to actually get a win here or maybe it's a disqualification on both ends and we can extend a few later and you can maybe have Matt Riddle get his win back or, you know, get a win over Seth Rollins at a later date. This is a few you continue. You don't let this go. This is too good to let go. This is really, really good. And this could set up maybe whoever wins out of this feud really being the next guy to potentially win the World Heavyweight Championship, Universal Championship, whatever you want to call it. Don't know. But... They need to continue this. This is great. This is fantastic. I had to make a separate video talking about this because if you have not seen that promo segment between Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins, go check it out now. You will not be disappointed. Easily the match I'm looking forward to the most at Clash at the Castle. So comment down below. Let me know what's your thoughts and opinions on this segment. Like, were you guys just as shocked as I was watching it when it happened? And has this become your most anticipated match at Clash at the Castle? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.